Hey team, welcome to our Thursday night call. It is April 7th, and now that I know that the date is on my computer, I don't have to scramble for a date. That is super exciting, the things you learn with technology. I am super pumped for tonight's call, so thank you to the 24 of you that hopped on live and are making this call a priority. It means a lot to me, so let's do a square sheen. I got slides. You know it's a good call when I have slides, right guys? Like. It's gonna be a good night. All right, let's press play. And if Nicole or Stephanie can give me a thumbs up because y'all are on my side of my computer. Perfect, thank you. That means they're on spotlight because I can see them the entire call. Lucky them. No, so let's start off with announcements. All these names to the left, you guys are already on the board for Success Club, so great job. We are changing lives. We are making waves. That's a lot of names for the seven. Like, I am super proud of you guys. You guys are doing an amazing job. So some quick announcements. Hopefully y'all watched my video today on um, vital behaviors. We're posting about them daily, but I'm not getting a lot of people who are commenting back. I don't care if you just do one of the four. I want you to be honest. You know what, Ashley? I really sucked today and I didn't do this one, this one, or this one. I need y'all just to be post and be held accountable, but I need you to do it, especially my coaches that are ranked up. Your coaches are watching you. If you're not posting about the vital behaviors, guess what? They're not going to post either because they don't think that they need to because you are not doing it. So we got to be posting about those vital behaviors. I asked for the BATs today. I think like four of you guys gave them to me. We talked about this last Thursday that we were going to start doing this weekly. So if you didn't do one this week, it's time to fail forward, learn from your mistake, and you need to start doing a BAT this week. They're in the Coach Online office. There's in the team page. They're easy to access. Google Business Activity Tracker Beachbody. It's going to pull it right up. Take ownership of your business, do the BAT. I'm using it now too. I don't usually track and I'm using it. So if I'm gonna use it, y'all need to use it too. So let's get in the habit of doing the, B, the vital behavior check it daily. And then lastly is our diamond or bus group. I don't know about y'all, but I am super excited about this group. Um, I am in like a corporate bi-weekly call where we have check-ins with other coaches that are on the same path as me. And we were like, our team wants to make this push. We want to make this push for a summit. What can we do? So we decided to group together and have a diamond or bus group. There are seven people leading this group and we're each putting in $100. So right there, that's $700 on the table. This group starts next Thursday. So what does this mean? That means you have to be Emerald by Thursday. If you have one coach underneath you and you've been Emerald before, I'm so sorry, but you can't join. You have to be Emerald. So. The group is going to run, run from next Thursday, so the 14th, all the way until May 19th. Everybody that joins has to put in $10. If you're a diamond coach, you can put in $10 and be held accountable and watch your team, but you can't win the money. You're basically just putting faith in your coaches, which we all have, that they're going to hit this goal. Each person that hits diamond and holds it for six consecutive weeks, so you can't just hit diamond have it for a week and drop it. It's going to be entered into a raffle and four of you are going to win part of the pot. Just think about it. There are most likely going to be over a thousand dollars in this pot. That's a lot of money and we're doing it because this is what you should already be doing. It's not a training, so you're not going to have an assignment every single day. What are some of the things you can expect? We're going to be doing a vital behavior check every single day. Hey, guess what? We're already doing this. You're already one step ahead. We're already working on that. We're going to be doing live power hours. I'm going to jump on every Monday night and do a live power. I've got girls jumping in on Tuesdays and Fridays doing the live power hours. You're going to learn from seven coaches in the business that are ranked all the way from diamond to six star on how to do certain topics, inviting, following up, social media, branding. You're going to meet new people and you're going to learn different ways. You're going to hear different scripts. This is like an amazing collaboration. I've always been jealous when I see like these 15 star diamond coaches like collaborating together to bring their teams in. And I'm like, ah, we are doing it. So I want you all to really push for this. And this group isn't for those that are just like, eh, I may want to be diamond, but I'm not sure. No, this group is for, I want to be diamond. I'm going to make it happen. And I'm going to put in the work daily. So I hope you guys will join diamond coaches, Ruby coaches, Emerald coaches, get your coaches involved, post it in your team page, tag them in the post in the team page, get them involved. If you want to join, guess what? You have to be Emerald by Thursday. So that means those invites that we've been super not wanting to do, it's time to bust them out and get them done. So I am super pumped about this training, or I don't want to call it training, push group. 
Hopefully I'm not the only one that's super pumped, but this is like an amazing thing that we're doing. So I am pumped. So let's get into tonight's call. Tonight we're going to be talking about becoming, going from a fiddler to jumping right in. So are you dabbling in this business? You're not really sure if you want to get your feet wet, but you think you want to dive in and just go on. So that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. I'm going to give you guys seven tips on how to going from a fiddler to jumping right in. Have your notebooks ready. Get ready to take notes. Put down the phones. Challengers can wait and let's dive into the team call. All right. So first thing first I want to talk about is the words that we use. How often do we say, I hope to hit success club. I might try to get enrolled by next week. I'll try to start a challenge group. I can't have a successful challenger. I can't hit success club. So often we use these words and we got to stop because basically when we use can't, hope, might, try, we're basically saying, guess what? We're in a backup plan. And if it doesn't happen, that's okay. No, if you're committed to this business and you have goals that you're trying to hit to benefit your family, you got to get rid of those words. Instead of saying, I can't, I am going to hit success club. I will be an Emerald coach. I will be a two-star diamond coach. I will run a kick-ass challenge. When we use those like defeating words, the can't, the hope, the might, the try, we're basically already talking ourselves down. We're basically feeding into ourselves and believing that we're not going to make it happen. And I know it seems silly, but you've got to make that shift. And a big part of that shift comes from personal development. How often do we ask for goals in the beginning of the month? And I sometimes hear, oh, I'm going to try to hit success club. No, I am going to hit success club. I might start a challenge group. No, I will start a challenge group. We got to switch our wording around. You're basically allowing yourself to say there is another option. And you're basically also saying you're going to accept the good, but not the great. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be good. I want to be great. I want to be amazing. So those words, those aren't in my vocabulary. I'm not going to try to be a five-star diamond. I am going to be a five-star diamond. Is it going to happen this year? Who knows? But I know that I'm going to make the push to happen. you got to change that vocabulary. you got to change your wording. You need to have the confidence within yourself that you're going to make it happen. And guess what? Fake it till you make it. I hear too often from coaches, well, I can't run a challenge group because I'm not Emerald. First off, that's the biggest load of excuses I've ever heard. And don't make me drop the hammer. I'll put Stephanie on you to drop the hammer because that's a really crappy excuse. It doesn't matter your success in this business. You can still rock it. So have confidence within yourself. So from here on out, those words are not allowed in the team page. I never want to hear somebody say, I hope to hit success club. I hope to be Emerald. I hope to rank up by next week. No, it's I will, I can, I'm going to. Those are the words you're going to make that shift. And if you're afraid to make that shift, personal development, personal development, personal development. This book right here, the 10X rule, this better be on all of your Amazon carts and ready to go because this book is life changing. It's taking me forever to read because I literally can only read a chapter a day because that's all I can handle. Get this book. It'll change your life. All right, next. It's not about how much time you have. It's about how much... How much you do with your time. I can't even read my title. When you say you're busy, are you really busy? Are you really that busy that you can't put an hour into your business? Or are you just not using your time wisely? Are you scrolling Facebook? Yeah. If anybody says they don't scroll Facebook, I'm going to call bullshit and say you're a liar. Love you, but come on. We all scroll Facebook. That's a waste of time. And that 15 minutes that you scrolled Facebook, you could have sent out five invites, added to your network, and did follow-ups, all within 15 minutes. You got to quit doing the things that waste your time, and you need to invest the time in the right places. So that means doing your power every single day. I don't care if you do 15 minutes here, 15 here, and 30 here. You got to get your power hour in every single day. I just read it in the 10X rule. Because some people are like, well, I don't want to do it on the weekends. Okay, that's cool. But are you at the point in your business that you can sacrifice 
two hours on a weekend to not grow your business when most people are the most available on the weekends? Are you at a point in your business that you know that your weekly check is going to cover what you needed to cover to take off those two hours? There was like a line in here and the guy said that he needed to make like 10,000 in profit. And the guy was like, are you watching football right now? He's like, yeah. He's like, well, you need to quit watching football. That's not going to help you make the money. He's like, oh, Sunday's a rest day. And he said in the book, Sunday is a rest day for those that bust their ass consistently to get where they need to be that can take the time off and know they're going to be okay. So if you're taking time off from doing your business, sit back and be like, am I okay? Have I reached the goals that I need to reach for my family? So I went off on a little tangent. I'm telling you, this book is liquid gold right here. Um, make list and crank it out. I am a list person. Ever since Daniel Tony, Danielle Natoni spoke at our uh, retreat, I'm list every single day. I'm like, this is what I need to do. Do, 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 do. If I don't get it done, guess what? It goes on the list for the next day. You got to prioritize your time. You have to. Sitting and having a conversation with one of your coaches for an hour. I love my coaches, but that is not a priority right now. Like, yes, I will talk to you. Let me rephrase this. Let me rephrase that because that sounded really bad. I will talk to you in between what I'm doing, but I'm not just going to spend that entire hour with a coach unless, of course, it's a one-on-one or we're meeting in person. If you're talking to a coach, do different things. Continue with your follow-ups. Continue with your inviting. Continue adding to your network. Really look at where you're spending your time, which is where the BAT comes to play. And again, that's using a tracker. At the end of the week, you have to look back and be like, okay, how many people did I invite? How many people did I add to my work work? Did I do my personal development? That's going to show you what you need to work on and where you need to invest your time. Pre-plan. Hootsuite your challenge group so you're not waking up and scrambling every single morning. Pre-plan your post of the week. I'm not saying auto-schedule your post. Plan them out. There was one person, Brandy Botts. She did on Snapchat. She's like, I'm about to do seven videos all in one day, and I'm about to change my shirt seven different times in my office. That's exactly what she did. If you know that you're not going to have time to work out one day or to make a post, do a bunch of different workout moves in your basement, change your top, keep your black pants on, and have those videos ready to go for another day. So many coaches do it. Pre-plan. Write it out on a schedule what your posts are going to be for the day. Pre-plan, pre-plan, pre-plan. And lastly, sacrifice. I kind of touched base on this a couple weeks ago, and I know some of you are like, Ashley, I'm not sacrificing anything. That's cool. But you need to be okay where you're at with your business and what the goals are that you're going to reach. So you may have to sacrifice some TV time. I never watch Grey's on Thursday night. I live for Grey's, and I don't watch it because I spend that time getting ready for the team call, getting my mind in the right place, and really plugging into the team. That's what my Thursdays are all about, prepping for the team call. So I know that I have to sacrifice Grey's, and I'm okay with that because I can watch it on repeat. You may have to sacrifice one less movie night a month, one less girls night a month, and know that the sacrifice is only temporarily because what you're sacrificing now, you can have tenfolds later on. I sacrificed a lot of time when I was building my business, and now I can just stop what I'm doing and go have lunch with my husband or go run to the mall or have lunch with a coach because I sacrificed a hell of a lot of time before and I lost a lot of sleep. Now, I'm not saying you have to sacrifice and quit doing everything you enjoy in life because that's not true. But if your goal is to you know, fire your boss, quit doing one less shift a week, really pay off your mortgage every single month, then you're going to have to make a couple sacrifices. You really need to watch where you're spending your time. So again, it's not about how much time you have. It's about what you're doing with your time. Number three. Oh, I was hoping the music didn't start. Protect yourself from pointless behaviors. So what do I mean by this? Engaging in negativity. One, I hate seeing negativity in the team page. The team page is not a place for negativity. If you need a rant and rave, send it to me. Send it to a fellow coach. But engaging in negativity, I want you to ask yourself, does this serve me or my family's goals? Does engaging in the negativity in the team page, a negativity that may be on the post, a hater, does that help you reach your goals? If you say yes, then we probably need to chat about what those goals are about, but they don't. So ignore them and move on. I have somebody that posted on my Instagram, quit smiling, you ugly anyway. Okay, cool. Have a great day. Delete it. Like maybe the old me would have been like, really? Seriously? And engaged back and forth and said something like really nasty, but that doesn't help me reach my goals. 
I don't give a crap if the guy thinks I'm ugly. Like he, who cares? It doesn't help me reach my goals by engaging in the negativity. Enabling. Sorry, I'm going through my notes because I don't want to miss anything. Enabling. What do I mean by this? And this really goes for my coaches that have coaches underneath them. Are you enabling your coaches? I'm guilty for it. Are you answering the messages the minute they message you because they're terrified that they're going to like mess something up or they're not going to do something? Are you answering their messages at 11 o'clock at night? Guilty as charged. Are you, instead of telling them to go find an FAQ, you're like, oh, the month coach, I think $16. We got to quit doing this behavior because what's happening is we're creating a very dependent coach. And instead, we want to create independent coaches. We want them to be able to lead their team. And unfortunately, enabling and answering these questions, it's pointless behavior. Every, every question a coach asks, guess where it can be found? FAQ, team page, Google. Nine out of 10 times, I don't answer questions. And when I come back a day later, I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry. I was really busy yesterday. Did you finally answer their question? They say yes. You don't have to rush to your coach's side the minute they message you. We got to quit enabling our coaches. I'm guilty as charged. Like, I'm really bad about it. Like, my West Coasters know if they message me at 12 o'clock in the morning, I'm answering them because I feel like I have to. But we got to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. My favorite, the wait, 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 and then rushing. How many of us do this? Oh, it's the first week of the month. I still have time to hit Success Club. Well, it's the second month. Maybe I'll start posting a little bit more. The third month. Crap, next week I have to hit success club by the last of the month. I probably should really start pushing. And the final week of the month, we're like, shit, I got to hit success club by next week. Like, I have one point on the board. Instead of using those first three weeks, we wait until the last week to rush. The business no longer becomes exciting. The business no longer becomes joyful. It's no longer about helping people. It's about finding those two success club points and rushing, rushing, rushing to make it happen. And we lose everything about this business that we think. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any of my notes. Um, I didn't even write that part down. Whoops. But you will burn out if you're doing that rushing mentality. For me, it's the seventh. I lost in Success Club two days ago. I'm good for the rest of the month. The rest of my month is now focused on helping my challengers, helping the team, helping my coaches reach their goals because I knocked that goal out right away. If I don't hit Success Club five, for me, by the 10th of every month, then I better start hustling because there is no way I am waiting till the last of the month to hit it. We got to quit with that mentality. And the other... Quit being a fact pusher. There is no reason that you should know everything about the business but not doing anything. Nothing drives me more, more than when I'm like in a new coach success group and I like see somebody ask a question and it's the same coaches over and over and over answering the questions. But I go look on their key page and I'm like, I don't even know you're a coach because you don't post about being a coach. That's great if you know all the facts, but unless you're doing something with the business, it's pointless. Um, and I thought there was one more thing. Oh, and then lastly, are you answering questions in the team page, but not doing anything on your own business? That kind of relates back to the pet fact pusher. I see coaches that are posting in the team page and answering questions, but I go to their page and they have it posted in a week. Why are you using your time to answer questions when you should be using your time to be posting on your social media? So protect yourself from these pointless behaviors and going forward, I want you to ask yourself before you do something, does this serve me? or my family's goals? If the answer is no, walk away and do something else. Um, and then this doesn't really relate to the slide, but I wanna to touch base about it. A lot of us have success partners or have success groups. And sometimes we enable our success partners or these groups and they'll be like, you know what? I really wanted to hit diamond this month, but I got super busy and life got in the way. And generally our answer is, you know what? That's okay. You're gonna hit it next month. No, you're enabling them to know that it's okay that they didn't work to reach their goals that they set forth. Instead, you should be like, you know what? I'm going to pretend that I'm talking to Stephanie. You know what, Stephanie? You told me last month you were going to hit diamond. Did you do what you needed to do to hit diamond or did you let life get in the way and use that as an excuse? I know you can do this, but you have to believe in yourself. That's what a success partner is. That is what a success group is. It is not enabling one another to not reach our goals. It is to empower one another and cheer each other on. Um, so instead, push them to not give up and stick to what they say. I just want to touch base on it real quick. Take the path to becoming a leader. So what do I mean about this? We used to be really good about this, welcoming coaches to the team. I saw a post the other day and seven people welcomed the coach to the team. 
There are 343 coaches in the team page and seven people welcomed them. Guys, let's be serious. How long does it take for you to say welcome? One second? Hold on, I'm gonna test this. It just took me one second to type welcome. Don't like notifications? Press the little arrow and turn them off. Remember when you joined the team and how amazing it felt with all these people that were welcoming you? You remember that? You got to do the same thing. I know life gets busy, but I see too many of us scrolling past and not welcoming coaches. What about the coaches that rank advanced to Emerald? I'm not saying that y'all need to congratulate me 24 seven. Cara made a post today about my husband and I ranking to Emerald. Not one person commented. Not one. Imagine if that was you. Imagine if Stephanie hit one star today and not one person in the entire team page said congratulations. How would you feel? Would you feel pretty shitty? Would you feel like it's a pretty crack, like you just worked your ass off to hit this goal and not one person to take time out of the day to congratulate you? We got to start being more proactive in the team page. And that means saying welcome on the new coaches, giving people a shout out, like saying high five when we make posts about it. Those things, that's about being a leader. Highlighting others, congratulating others, and share willingly. Too often we're like, well, I don't want to share this because they're just going to take it and turn it back upon themselves. That's not what leaders do. That's being selfish. Leaders share willingly. I post these team calls up on YouTube for the entire world to see. Last week's call or the two weeks ago, my like success or excuses had the most views ever. And I know it's not from coaches on the team page. I love y'all, but I know how many people watch the recordings of these videos. And not a hundred of you watch the recording. That means other coaches watched my call. Other coaches benefited. I didn't want, I did not share it because I want to be selfish. I shared it because I don't care whose team a coach is on. They should still be going forth and doing what they need to be doing. So I totally went from my notes. Um, using the team page and doing these things, it's prepping you to become a leader. Some of you are like, well, I'm too terrified to be a leader. The first time you sign up a coach, you become a leader. But the more you grow the team, the more you're going to start doing these things. So why not use the team page as like a practice round, as an opportunity to do this? I always say, be a river, not a reservoir. Rivers flow. They give away water. Reservoirs, they have zero flow and they just suck everything in. Don't be that person. Give freely. If you have a script that's working for you, share it. If an invite's working, share it. If you're doing stuff in your challenge room that's working, share it. Share these things. Don't keep them to yourselves. We're here to work together to reach our goals. So take the path of being a leader. I lost track. Four? Is this four? No, this is five. Be a sponge. So what do I mean by a sponge? Soak up everything you can learn everything. That means being on the calls live. So my 32 people that are on the call right now, thank you. Thank you for being a sponge and making this call a priority. I know it's really easy to be like, I'm just going to listen to the recording. You got to show up and you got to be live because what happens if there's no recording? Last week there was no recording and I wonder how many people skipped out on the call because they knew they could watch the recording. Go to events, get to Super Saturday. Get to Super Sundays. They are life changing. Sorry, thank God it's Thursday shows. Like priority, team calls are priority. Super Saturdays are priorities. If you can get to Summit, those are priorities. You have to be a sponge of wealth and knowledge. Listen to other team calls. Listen to the national wake up calls. Watch the trainings. Watch the coaches' videos. You want to grow in this business and you want to become a diver? Be a sponge of knowledge. Surround yourself with accountability. I think this is one of the most important aspects of when you really want to push your business. So what do I mean by this? Do you need to commit to doing power hour? Do you need to commit to inviting five people a week? Or do you need to commit to like getting up and doing a workout? Ask for accountability. Ask your spouse, your success partner, your family, your kids, your challenges, your upline. Be like, you know what? Hey, I need to get up early every single day. Can you text me at seven o'clock in the morning and see if I've worked out? Ask somebody that's going to hold you accountable. So many times, Stephanie told me, she's like, hey, I need to invite five people. Can you check on me in an hour if I've invited my five people? And I do, because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help people keep, keep, ugh, keep people accountable. Now, some of you may be like, hey, Ashley, can you just like prove my BAT for the week? I may not answer you, but I am looking at it. Ask for accountability, whether it's power, personal development, inviting, challenge group. Surround yourself with accountability. That's how you're going to grow. 
And I think this is the last one. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, go back. No, I wasn't done. Decide you're going to do this and don't look back. So what do I mean? I mean, if you say from here on out, if you have that, I don't want to call it an aha moment because you all know how I feel about that. But if you have that aha moment and you're ready to put that aha moment into actions, you have to decide here and now that you're going to do this and you're not going to look back. Think, what are your goals for your family? What are those goals? We, and I talked about it on that video about connecting to your why. You have to connect to your why. I could have given up a long time ago, but if I would have, I wouldn't be reaching my goals for my future family. I wouldn't be getting us out of debt. I wouldn't be able to be able to buy our dream house down the road. I decided and I didn't look back. So you have to be consistent. That means you have to post every single day. I look at too many pages and I see a post once a week. That's not somebody that wants to work the business or reach their goals. That's somebody that's just being a dabbler and they're okay with that. You got to be doing the vital behaviors every single day. If you go to post your vital behaviors at nine o'clock at night and you haven't invited, guess what? You better invite from nine to nine, 10. I hammered out 12 invites today and it took me less than 10 minutes. I don't miss those 10 minutes. Not at all. I started a lot of new conversations. No excuses. No, I'm really busy right now, so I'll just pick my business back up when life calms down. No, that's, that's not really how it works. It is how it works, but guess what? You have to start all over. Or my favorite is money's really tight right now, so I can't focus on this business. Do you see my face? If money's really tight right now, this should be when you're investing in your business. Today, I hit a huge milestone in my business. I didn't really post about anywhere, but we've officially made six figures with Beachbody. As of today, six figures. My first year in the business, I only made $6,000. So that's not saying much for the first year in the business. So in the last two years, we have made six figures with Beachbody. It would have taken me three years in my retail management job to make that. Three years. Why? Because I quit with the excuses. I quit with the time excuses. I quit with the I'm too busy. I don't know if you guys know, but buying a house is really freaking demanding right now, but I still haven't used that as an excuse. So make that decision. Dive right in and don't look back. Life gets busy. Great. Take it by the horns and run with it. Money's tight. You better be diving into your business 10 times harder because that means your family really needs it right now. This business has so many opportunities for you guys you got to be willing to run with it. You have to be willing to dive right in, decide you're doing this and not look back. So those are my tips on becoming a diver and not a dabbler. Does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that they want to add or think that was good? I'm looking over there. Yeah. What's up, Steph? Just a couple notes I wanted to add on to what you were saying, but when you were talking about like the time wasters, no game apps. Like when I signed up to be a beach body coach, I took off candy crush and that stuff off my phone. Like right away. If you have 10 minutes to crush candy, you have 10 minutes to invite 10 people. Amen. Seriously, I know you're like, shut the hell up. I want to play candy crush, but you will thank me later. I promise. Um, and when she was talking about reaching success club, I talk about that all the time. Um, quite a while ago, I did a team call on um, like your attitude and positivity, which maybe I should repeat, but um, I tell my team that all the time. Like, you have to start saying, I'm going to do this. Even if you don't believe it, just start telling yourself that, and soon enough, you will be believing it. And then another thing I was going to suggest, besides reading the 10X rule, read Energy Bus. It's like an elementary book. It's super easy to read. It's a fast read. And when you're done, you're going to be like ready to run a marathon. <laughs> Adding it to my Amazon cart now. It'll make you super happy. Um, because like Ashley said, like negativity just breeds more negativity. So if you have a negative spouse or a friend who's like in your ear um, pulling you down, then you have to work even harder. Like Josh said on our call about your personal development and just push even harder to prove to those people that doubt you. And then just one more note about Ashley saying about commenting on the team page, we're family, which means we stick together and we boost everybody up. But I don't know about you guys, but I feel like when I'm not commenting and participating, it's because I'm not feeling great about where I am in my business. But if I would just take five seconds out of my day to say, 
great job to somebody, that's probably all I need to like boost my mood. So instead of scrolling by being like, excuse my language, but God damn it, she, she added another coach. Like, why can't I do that? You know, just take five seconds out to congratulate her on her work. And before you know it, you're going to be feeling a little bit better about yourself. So that's all I wanted to add. It's so true. And I want to touch base on what Stephanie said about how she posts in her team page. So I've been talking to Stephanie. I'm talking to my car because they're pushing me. I will be five-star at Summit. Not because, like, I want to be up there with everybody else, but it's a goal that I made a year ago for myself. I said I will be five-star at Summit. It's okay to want to go for a rank. It is okay to push. So never let anybody tell you that it's not okay to push for a rank because it is. As long as you're helping people in the process. Every single day I wake up and say, I am going to be five-star. I have six weeks to make this happen. Six weeks. And I will make it happen. And I tell myself every single day, I don't get up and say, I may be five-star. I'll try to be five-star. No, I will be five-star. you got to put that mentality in our head because when we use those negative words, guess what? We're negative on ourselves. Yeah, even if it's something as simple as you think you have like the largest butt in the world, I mean it when I say start telling yourself 10 times a day, I have a nice looking butt. It sounds stupid, but it is the truth. If you read personal development, you will read that. Start telling yourself. Write yourself a note on the bathroom mirror. Write yourself a note on your phone when it turns on. Whatever it takes, like, I will reach success club. I will rank advance. It doesn't I mean whatever it is. Even if in your mind you're like, yeah, right, I'm never going to do that, start telling yourself that, and you will. At the Super Saturday Tara Carr, so Nicole and Amanda and Jennifer heard the story. Jennifer, or Jennifer Carr, Lord have mercy. Tara Carr was like the worst, like negative person, like hated on herself. She literally had post-it notes in her house and she said people would come and be like, wow, you're really self-centered. You think you're the most amazing person. She's like, actually, I really hate myself. So I put these post-it up notes so I can remind myself every single day how amazing I am. When I was starting my weight loss journey, I literally had post-it notes on my mirror and I said, I am amazing. You can do this. Every single day I looked at these post-it notes. Guess what? I used to be the most negative person you will ever meet. Like my coworkers hated me. I have my complaining moments, but for the most part, I'm really positive now because I use those affirmations. I know they sound silly, but you got to do it. Does anybody else have anything to add or any questions particular about this call? Any tidbits you want to throw in? Any victories that you did this week that you're really proud of yourself or your business? Anybody? Melissa, are you raising your hand? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Um, so while I was listening to you, um, or was it? You were talking about the Be a Sponge. Mm -hmm. um, just, I love this call, first off. Um, it Yay, just, hopefully I didn't hurt anybody's feelings on this call. No. <laughs> it just clicked in your head or at least in my head like it's so simple you get paid to play on facebook you know you're posting simple five second posts like i don't know it just it just clicked no and it's so true um I'm about to be really real with y'all. This was bonus week. This week my paycheck was $4,000 with Beach Body. I made that by posting on Facebook, by posting on social media, by putting in a couple hours a day. Like, do you know how long that would have taken me to make when I worked for a retail manager and I would have been working like 60 hours a week? A really long time. But Melissa is so right. Like, this is what we get to do day in and day out. We get to help people and it's okay to be proud that you get paid to help people. That is okay. So I'm glad this call clicked for you, Melissa. My goal is always when I do these calls that it helps one person, that one person makes that shift in their mind. They're like, I can do this. I got this. So if that was this call for Melissa, I am like super pumped because that makes me really happy. Does anybody else have any comments, questions, concerns, anything to add? Yes, Scotty. Hold on. Let me unmute you. You're unmuted, Scotty. You're good. All right, awesome. So, okay, as you know, I 
I've noticed people lately have been doing a little, what's the word I'm looking for, a formula with the hearts and everything, the heart color-coded. Yeah. And, uh, and y'all saw me do that yesterday. And I tell you, I did get a little discouraged because, like, only coaches responded to me and, like, a couple other people. And it's like what they were really thinking was the blue heart. I'm not interested, but I support you. But they didn't want to, like, come out and say it. You know, that's that's the vibe that I got from those people. And, you know, because I woke up this morning and looked at that, and I just can't believe, you know, I was just like, wow, only, for the most part, only coaches responded to that. And it made me feel a little discouraged. But, you know, kind of like I said, it's sometimes the people, when you're at your bottom, you just got to continue going. And you know what? Instead of letting it discourage you, Turn it back around. This is something that Fit and Funky taught us at Super Saturday. Instead of being like, man, that coach with another coach. Good. I'm glad that coach signed up with another coach because they probably would have been like a headache or whatever. So instead, be like, you know what? It's okay that everybody didn't post. Instead, maybe I need to post more on social media. Maybe I need to be put myself more out there because unfortunately, when it comes to Facebook, there's this like huge algorithm, whatever word, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. yeah, whatever that word is. So that may just mean that you need to be a little bit more out there. And that, thank you. I still can't say the word Laurel, even if you type it out. Um, I swear I went to college and have a degree. Um, but spin it around and be like, you know what? That's okay. That is okay that they didn't post because I'm going to prove to them that I can do this. And when I post a status a year from now, I'm going to have a lot more colored hearts and they're not going to be blue and they're not going to be yellow. Just turn that round into a positive like shift change. They're awesome. watching. Just keep posting, buddy. Thanks. And, you know, you've really been encouraging me to start opening up a Snapchat because I've been seeing y'all do that. And I need to – it's now – I never had any interest in doing it, but I'm, I think I'm going to be doing that. I soon. am all about Snapchat life, like all about it. I get to be goofy. I get to make pig faces. Mm -hmm. I get to share pictures of stilts sounding like a minion. I am all about it. And I actually – somebody messaged me the other day, and they're like, I get really sad when I check and you haven't put up a new snap. Like your snaps inspire me. And I'm like, oh, I really didn't think anybody cared about my yellow drink, but okay. So yeah, do it, Scotty, do it. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> Does anybody else have anything else they want to add? Comments, questions, concerns? And then if not, I'll, yes, Amanda. So um, can you hear me? Yep. I, okay. Cause I haven't used the headphones, so I wasn't sure. Um, with the challenge group thing, because I've been just, you know, going to your challenge groups, should I just send out a mass invite and go from there? And if I have two people that say they're going, just run a challenge group with two people? I would say team, obviously run a challenge group, but see if you can team up with somebody just because two people may not be as active in a challenge group. So like, uh, Jessica yeah. and I are starting our challenge group on Monday. So right. if you want to join in on ours, you can't, or post that he yeah. made you like, Hey, do a couple people want to collaborate on a challenge group just because and I think Stephanie can agree. She's usually my challenge group, like go to person. Okay. The more people you have, the more active it is. So if you have like okay. two or three people, they may like not post. As much. Yeah, because that's my problem is like nobody responds to me and I try and I'm like, okay, let's do this or people will, you know, they'll come to me and be like, oh, you inspire me or whatever, or you motivate me. But then if I send out like a challenge group thing, nobody responds. So that's why I've just been kind of doing yours with you and Jessica. Um, and Stephanie, do you have any advice here? Like my challenge group go to? Yeah, I would say like make a pretty like pick monkey picture advertising it and just say like like this status if you want more info and then like message everybody but um nothing against Ashley but I would try to get away from leaning on her and somebody else posted that they were starting one Monday and they wanted to team up so I would try to team up with some other coaches okay or I mean Ashley but if maybe if you're okay. not with her you'll be more apt to like okay because I have um I have one coach that is like She's not actively working the business, but she said she wanted to do it with me. So maybe I'll see if she wants to do it. And yeah, we, even, if there's like, not, even if there's like five of you coaches, I mean, my groups have like okay. people now, but I've been coaching for two years. So 
Okay. And I like what Stephanie said because, like, I don't mind new coaches joining my challenge group, but unfortunately what happens is me and Jessica do run our challenge group. So it's really just right. us being in the forefront. But say, like, you teamed up. I'm just throwing people's names that are on the call, like Nicole, Laurel, and Melissa, and then Ashley, your coach. So you have five of you now, and you guys can take turns and, like, have a schedule. Like, this person's posting on this day. That way you're all yeah. present, and it all helps you with okay. running that challenge group. So I would even post on the team page, like, hey, who wants to team up to do a challenge group? I would love to, this is when I want to start. Let me know. Yeah. And that would be easier too. If we're all taking turns and there's four, three or four of us too, because my homework is killing me these last few weeks of school. And so it would be good to to get a little bit of that pressure off too. And what's going to happen is if you guys start a group message, guess what? You're now meeting new people on the team page and you're meeting people that you can count on, that you can depend on. And when I like can't answer a message, you're like, Oh, I can go to Laurel because we like rocked our challenge group together. Like that's what right. you're going to find when you team up with other coaches Another and more accountability partners to be like, Hey, exactly. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Nicole said message her Amanda in the chat. <laughs> um, does anybody have anything else? If not, I'll quit recording, but I'll stay on on the end to answer any other questions. Cause I know sometimes we don't like to ask questions on the live recording. No. All right, guys, I am so excited that you jumped on. I hope you got out of this call like I did. I love this call. I love the content of it. Um, and if you didn't notice, we have a guest speaker uh, for the last Thursday of the month and my girls that went to Super Saturday with me. Nicole, Amanda, can you like vouch for me that this guy is going to rock their worlds and change their lives? Like can anybody, Nicole, Amanda, can either vouch? They're shaking yes. their heads. Yes. Yes. I'm saying yes. Okay. So this <laughs> Brad spoke at Super Saturday. He is a five star. He's a premier coach. He is up on stage with Autumn Calibres at Summit working out next to him. Like he is a rock star coach. And what he said at Super Saturday was just like, drop mic, walk away. Like he is amazing. And he's taking the time out to do a call for us. And I am super, super pumped. Um, so be on the call next Thursday. If y'all want to join this Diamond or Bus group, Let's make that push together. I'm going to post in the team page and say, who's pushing for this? That way you, I'm going to start a group for you guys and we're going to be held accountable. He's almost as awesome as Tara, man. That's really putting him high up there. Um, we're going to hold you guys accountable for this. I am excited for this. I think it's going to be amazing. I am proud of where our team is heading. I am proud of every single one of you. So let's have a kick-ass week and continue to help change in people's lives. You guys have a great night.